If you are evaluating functions, that means you are replacing x with a value from the do Fat math, the right path to develop the fat brain that you've got. Hello everyone and welcome to Fat Math TV. In this lesson, you will learn how to evaluate functions. Evaluating functions. If you are evaluating functions, that means you are replacing x with a value from the domain and computing the answer. So this one is the notation for evaluating function. If you have the notation f of a, that means you are evaluating the function f at a certain value a in the domain of f. For example, given that f of x equals 3x minus 1, and you're asked to evaluate f of x at x equals 2. So for, for that one, uh, the notation for that is f of 2. That is evaluating f of x at x equals 2, so you write f of 2. That means you replace x with a value from the domain. Uh, in this case, replace x with 2. So copy 3 times 2. Instead of x, you write there 2. And then copy minus 1. And then you compute the answer. So 3 times 2 is 6. And 6 minus 1 is 5. Therefore, f of 2 is 5. So the value of f of x equals 3x minus 1 at x equals 2 is 5. So that's how, uh, what you do. If you are evaluating functions, just replace the x with the value you are asked to evaluate. Okay, let us have more examples. Evaluate each of each of the following functions at x equals 3. So each of the following functions at x equals 3. So for each of this, 1, 2, 3, 4, you just replace x with positive 3. So number 1, f of x equals 4x squared minus 1. That's going to be uh, f of 3 equals 4, copy 4, replace x with 3, and copy squared, and then copy minus 1. And then you just compute. And then we have here multiplication, squaring, and um, subtraction. So you have to do a squaring first, or uh, the power. So that's going to be 4 times 9, because 3 squared is 9. 4 times 9 is 36. 36 minus 1 is 35. So, f of x equals 4x squared minus 1 is equal to 35 at x equals 3. Number 2. Okay, you can already try this on your own as your practice. Numbers 2, 3, and 4. Anyway, these are easy items. You just replace x with 3 and then uh, you uh, compute the answer. Okay, number 2 f of x equals 9 minus 7x, copy 9 minus 7, and then replace x with 3. So you have your sub subtraction and multiplication. So of course, you have to do multiplication first. 7 times 3 is 21, so you're going to have 9 minus 21. 9 minus 21 is negative 12. So f of x is equal to negative 12 at x equals 3. Number 3, f of x equals square root of 2x minus 5, Re Replace x with 3. That's going to, oh, So f of 3 is going to be square root of 2 times 3 minus 5. 2 times 3 is 6. 6 minus 5 is 1. Square root of 1 is 1. So f of x equals square root of 2x minus 5 is equal to 1 when x is equal to 3. Number 4, f of 3 here is going to be 3 squared minus 6 times 3 plus 2. So you replace x with 3. And then simplify. 3 squared is 9. 6 times 3 is 18. You have your subtraction and addition. What do you think should be done first? In order of operations. Subtraction or addition? Of course, you are, if they go together or one after another, you have to do first what's on the left. So you have to perform first subtraction, 9 minus 18, and then you add 2 to the result. 
Same is true if you have multiplication and division. If they go together or one is after the other, then you have to perform the operations from left to right. Okay, so that's for addition and subtraction and multiplication division. So in this case, 9 minus 18 is negative 9 plus 2, that's negative 7. So f of 3 is negative 7. Uh, let's have other examples. Here in this case, f of x is 6x minus 1. And you're asked to find the value of f of 5, f of negative 4, f of 1 half, and f of 3 fourths. So just replace uh, x here with 5 for f of 5. So that's going to be 6 times 5 minus 1. We just copy 6. Replace x with 5 and then copy minus 1. 6 times 5 is 30. 30 minus 1 is 29. Number 2, f of negative 4, that's going to be 6 times negative 4 minus 1. So copy 6, replace x with negative 4, and then copy minus 1. 6 times negative 4 is negative 24 minus 1, that's negative 25. So f of negative 4 is negative 25. Number 3, f of 1 half, so that's going to be 6 times 1 half minus 1. And 6 times 1 half is 6 over 2, or that is 3. So 3 minus 1 is 2, so f of 1 half is... In number 4, we will have f of 3 fourths, so that's 6 times 3 fourths minus 1, and 6 times 3 fourths, uh, that is going to be 18 over 4, and then you simplify, or you can cancel here immediately 2, divide 6 by 2, that's 3, and then divide 4 by 2, that's 2, and then 3 times 3 is 9, and then for the denominator, this, anyway, this is over 1, so that's 2. And then subtracting here, we have an improper fraction and a whole number. So find the least common denominator. That's going to be uh, 2. So uh, 1 is 1 over 1. And you identified that the com uh, least common denominator is 2. And then you just do uh, find similar fraction of 1 over 1 so that it will be similar to... Uh, I mean equivalent fraction of 1 over 1 so that it will be similar to 9 have so if you want a denominator 2 then 2 divided by 1 is 2 times 1 that's 2 that's how you get this one so 9 minus 2 uh, and this one we already have uh, similar fractions then we can already subtract the numerators and copy the denominator so 9 minus 2 is 7 so 7 halves so f of 3 fourths is 7 halves More examples. Okay, same function, f of x equals 6x minus 1. And then f of negative 8 is 6 times negative 8 minus 1. 6 times negative 8 is negative 48. Negative 48 minus 1 is negative 49. And then as what you can see here, number uh, numbers 2, 3, and 4, it's no longer a real number but an expression in terms of x. So anyway, just change x with that expression. So we will have 6 times, so f of 2x equals 6 times 2x. So just copy 6, replace x with this value here, 2x, and then copy minus 1. So 6 times 2x is 12x, and then copy minus 1, and you can no longer simplify that. So that will be your final answer. Number 3, f of x plus 3 is going to be 6 times x plus 3 minus 1. Copy 6. Replace x with x plus 3, and then copy minus 1. So 6 times x plus 3 is 6x plus 18. 18 minus 1 is 17. So f of x plus 3 is 6x plus 17. Number 4, f of x squared minus 2x plus 2. So you copy 6. And then replace x with x squared minus 2x plus 2. And then simplify. 6 times x squared is 6x squared. 6 times negative 2x is negative 12x. And then 6 times 2 is positive 12. And then copy minus 1. And then you can have 12 minus 1 is 11. So copy 6x squared minus 12x. And 12 minus 1 is 11. So f of x squared minus 2x plus 2 is 6x squared minus 12x plus 11.
More examples. Given a f of x equals x squared minus 2x plus 5, find the value of a f of a minus 2 and f of 3x plus 1. So same, you replace x here with uh, the value here. So instead of x, write a minus 2. So f of a minus 2 is equal to, replace this with a minus 2, copy the squared minus, copy minus 2, replace x with a minus 2, and then copy plus 5. a minus 2 squared is a minus 2 times a minus 2. That is going to be a squared minus 4a plus 4. You can use your uh, special products here, or the expansion of the square of a binomial. And then negative 2 times a is negative 2a, negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4, copy, plus 5. And then combine like terms, for, uh, for a squared, just write a squared. For a, you have negative 4a minus 2a, that's negative 6a. And then for the constant term, you have 4 plus 4 plus 5, that is positive 13. And this will be the final answer. Number 2, f of 3x plus 1. So replace x with 3x plus 1. So you're going to have 3x plus 1 squared minus 2 times 3x plus 1. And then copy plus 5. And then 3x plus 1 squared. That's 3x plus 1 times 3x plus 1. That's 9x squared plus 6x plus 1. And then negative 2 times 3x. That's negative 6x. Negative 2 times 1 is negative 2. Copy plus 5. And combine like terms. So copy 9x squared. 6x plus negative 6x, that's 0. 1 minus 2 is negative 1 plus 5, that's positive 4. So f of 3x plus 1 is 9x squared plus 4. Okay, so if you want to check if you already know how to evaluate functions, then you can try this out. Given f of x equals 5x minus 2 and g of x equals x squared plus 5x minus 3, find the following. Number 1, f of 3. Number 2, f of negative 4. Number 3, g of 2. Number 4, g of negative 1. Of course, for the g, you have to replace here in the g. And then number 5, f of x minus 3. Number 6, f of x squared plus 2. Number 7, g of 2a. And lastly, number 8, g of a minus 8. Of course, you will be needing uh, more time for this, so don't forget to like and subscribe Fatma TV and pause the video if you need more time. Let us answer f of 3, just replace x here in the f with uh, 3, so you will have 5 times 3, 15 minus 2, that's 13. For number 2, f of negative 4, that's 5 times negative 4, negative 20 minus 2, negative 22. g of 2, that's going to be 2 squared plus 5 times 2 minus 3. This is 4 plus 10, 14 minus 3, that's 11. And then g of negative 1, negative 1 squared is 1. 5 times negative 1 is negative 5. 1 minus 5 is negative 4, minus 3, that's negative 7. And then for this case... Of course, you'll be needing more time because these are uh, algebraic expressions that you will replace with uh, x, uh, that you will replace to x. So uh, this, is, this is going to take a little bit longer. And the answers are number 5, 5x minus 17. Number 6, 5x squared plus 8. Number 7, 4a squared plus 10a minus 3. And lastly, number 8, a squared minus 11a plus 21. So that's it for evaluating functions. Thank you for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. Bye!